Welcome in, guys. My name is Chris Alanius, and it's uh, it's been a while, all right? It's been a while since we've done anything like this. Um, so if you haven't been watching my other videos, I've been doing uh, just general gaming, things I'm interested in, Fortnite, Rocket League, Dead Space, Doki Doki, all these other games, I'm trying to establish myself as a horror game content creator as well as just general community interest. Point of that being, it's been a long time since I've done a real event Pokemon Go video. <laughs> and that's exactly what this is. Thank you for watching. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what shinies you got, what Pokemon you're excited for if you were able to go to the event, and what you're going to do for the global event if you were not. Anyway, guys, we are talking about the Las Vegas Hoenn Tour. So I've been playing Pokemon Go since 2016. I think there was a year. I think I had one account and I lost access to it. So I've been playing since 2018 and I've never been able to attend uh, an event like this in person. Everything's been outside of my realm of possibility to attend for a game like Pokemon Go. Now the time has finally come for me to be able to attend one. So if any of you at home are wondering what is the Hoenn Tour going to be like? You know, what, what is a live event for Pokemon Go even like? What does it mean? Well, <clears throat> I don't have the answers for you right this second. But that is what we're going to be figuring out. Um, we haven't left for the trip yet. Uh, this is the night before. Um, I only got a pass for Sunday, unfortunately. Tickets did sell out. But uh, this video is going to be basically um, almost like a vlog style of my adventure in Las Vegas playing Pokemon Go at Sunset Park. I'm really excited. A lot of the big Pokemon Go creators are going to be there. Um, Mystic7, Zoe Two Dots, Pokemon Master Holly. Maybe I'll run into Mystic7 or Zoe Two Dots. I think those are the two I would really like to meet. Um, Mystic7 was a huge inspiration for me starting YouTube in general, even though I've flown away from Pokemon Go. We have some event details that I will be sharing with you guys. Pokemon Go Tour Hoenn. Uh, there's going to be a special research, Chasing Leg Legends, and there's going to be a masterwork research that's going to allow us to unlock Shiny Jirachi. So I'm all about the Shiny Mythicals, even though I'm not a Pokemon Go content creator to the same extent as I was a year and a half ago. Um, I still play this game every day. I still try to grind. I'm still trying to hit the next level, which for me is 48. We're getting close. Um, there's a Ruby and Sapphire challenge, which seems to be a theme for the uh, Pokemon Go tours, you know, whichever game, whichever uh, generation they're releasing, you'll have the respective games as options with the respective Pokemon from each games. If you don't know what that means, um, typically there are version exclusive Pokemon uh, only show up in one game, not the other. So you're forced to have to either buy both or find someone who bought the other copy trade <clears throat> now that's relevant because during the i'm not sure if it's the master work well i guess it's neither um during the event you're gonna have to pick a path do you want to be ruby or would you want to be sapphire and that's going to help you determine which pokemon you get increased shiny spawn odds on uh, as we've seen in previous events, there's going to be multiple different terrain. My understanding is that those Pokemon shown there will be available for everybody playing the event, um, you know, with a ticket, uh, regardless of which team you choose, uh, Ruby or Sapphire. So that'll be cool. I'm also hoping we'll get the opportunity to face off against the Mega Starters, uh, Mega Blaziken, Mega Swampert, and mega septile i actually haven't gotten the mega of any of them and i desperately need them we've got primal kyogre and we've got primal groudon over here uh both of these pokemon have been released in pokemon go previously but not in these forms these will count as entries in the mega decks uh so you'll notice two slots open up for those there uh we have the introduction of a couple new shiny families uh surskit right here has not been in pokemon go it evolves into Masquerade, or Masquerine, whatever. Uh, Gulpin, not previously shiny, uh, but he will be after this event and during this event. And he obviously evolves into Swalot. Now, one I've been waiting for 
very long time is shiny cacnea shiny cacnea oh my god <laughs> it looks so good it will obviously get cacturn because of the evolution these three pokemon at the bottom here are all regional variants uh or not variants but regional specific relinquenth however you say it relinquenth torkoal and tropius i want all three of these shinies so bad <laughs> i've already gotten one of each pokemon so i have the dex entry but I want to get the shinies. So this is just to tell you a little bit about what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Um, I'm going to end the informational piece here. Uh, and we're going to wrap up for now and skip to the future. You're going to catch up with future Chris who's actually participating in the event. And we're going to have some footage to show you of what the event is like. How spawns are looking. So please let me know down in the comments if you're there. Or you know what you think the best thing out of this event is uh because some of these bonuses and some of these things that are being added moving forward will be available for um trainers worldwide so let me know what you guys think about that i will catch up with you tomorrow and we'll see you then What is going on guys? Welcome back. I am your host, Chris Alanius. We already did our intro for this video, but we are at Sunset Park in Las Vegas celebrating the Hoenn Tour event for Pokemon Go. So the day just started. You can see there's a lot of people behind me. We got some geese down here. Look at those guys. First day was a shit show. I didn't have a ticket for it. Um, internet issues all around. Uh, they had to extend the bonuses to the entire city. Uh, at least not the bonuses, but the gyms, the primal raids, and uh, the wild encounters. You could experience or encounter in the city from 7 to 10 if you had a Saturday ticket. I did not, so I didn't get to experience that, but I did get to do a bunch of the Groudon raids. Um, since I didn't have that first ticket, I did not get a uh, any primal energy from it. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys, check in before we get started. No shinies yet, but it uh, looks like Wi-Fi is better today, so they must have made some issue where nothing in the park would work if you didn't have a ticket which is kind of wild but i'll check back with you guys later what's going on everybody i'm jc valor we're at pokemon go tour owen i'm with chris lanius here how's it going bro great how are you having a good time oh i'm having the greatest time oh yeah did you get any great shinies you were hoping for i got a beldum and a shroomish so we're in there i'm jealous i want that shroomish so bad. well hey good luck to everybody out there i hope you get all the shinies you're looking for he's already killing it as it is so good seeing you bro thank you very much hell yeah <laughs> All right, guys, what's going on? I hope you can see me. I'm trying to sit back a little bit, so I apologize if you can't. Um, I'm sitting at one of the Spinda stops right now. Uh, they have a couple things posted up here where you can... Uh, let's see if I can show you the Spinda spot. Spinda spot, A to B. Um, for some reason, this stop specifically is not working. I've heard other people say 
uh, that it's not counting for them. There's a quest line that actually requires you to spin each of the spin to stops, um, and A, it's not counting for people. So, don't know what that's about, but uh, they're doing trivia over there. Pretty cool. One of the last questions was what Pokemon do has the least, the lowest CP in Pokemon Go? And what Pokemon is tied with that? It was Magikarp yeah. and Vivas. Yeah. Uh, so there's a little Best gang over there all going and doing that. I thought this was a cool kind of section to show. Have you not got one? You can see here there's three Groudon, okay. one Deoxys, one Kyogre. There's an egg right behind me, two more Groudon. Lots of Pokemon raids all around. Um, I'm waiting for my buddy who's over there doing trivia. Uh, the spawns are okay. And as you can see, uh, a gym leader, or a Team Go Rocket leader rather, is doing the appraisals now. Uh, at least for this event. So, as far as that goes, um, this is what some of the other spawns look like. Nothing too crazy. Um, it is what it is. I have transferred some, but overall, there's not a crazy amount of spawns unless you're actually walking, which absolutely makes sense. Um, I'm just sitting waiting for my buddy, and then we're going to jump back into it. But wanted to show you a little bit more of what's going on here at this event. All right, guys. Uh, we have a Primal Groudon raid here. I wanted to show you guys a little bit about what the raids are like since the Primal raids, I think they're coming globally next week, but I wanted to give you a sneak peek of what you can expect from those. Uh, maybe that's not a great way to explain it because every single raid, 20 people, uh, <laughs> which is really awesome because these raids go down in about 60 seconds maybe even less depending on the trainer levels, effectiveness, all that good stuff. Um, I'm still hunting for a shiny Groudon. I have done 30 plus raids. If, if you consider raids at a dollar per pass and uh, you know, you're really raiding for the shiny or the better IV. And I'm not getting great IVs, I'm not getting great shinies or any shinies as far as raids go. But that's why we're hunting for the Groudon. Um, right now, the only way to get Primal Energy is to be a ticket holder and do these raids on, you know, the corresponding day for your ticket. We've got 20 more seconds till our lobby starts here. Alright, I don't have a Mega or anything for this raid, but basically the Primal, Kyogre, and Groudon, they count as Megas. Uh, we're going into the raid now. You guys will see what I mean. These Pokemon are actually way stronger than regular Mega Pokemon, go figure. Um, but even then, with 20 people, these raids are going freaking fast. Uh, primal Groudon is sweet. You do not catch them primal. Uh, you actually have to, like I said, treat them like a mega evolution. about that this rain took a little bit longer uh, than expected but we're about to wrap up and you can you guys can see that took us about 70 seconds to take out primal Groudon with 20 different players here at the Hoenn Fest and we're gonna see if we can get a shiny Groudon on camera now let's check it out we did not all right <laughs> Well, I'm gonna catch this guy, that's it for now. Um, our next update's probably gonna be from home once we do a shiny review for how the last couple hours went. Um, comment down below if you came out to this event, what was the best thing you caught? All right, guys, it is 3.13 p.m. here in Las Vegas. Uh, as you know, we're here for the Hoenn tour. Um, I met up with some friends earlier. Now I'm here with my wife and uh, we're still out here looking for shinies. Uh, just a quick update on where we are at now. Uh, let me do a search here. So I've gotten 12 shiny Pokemon just at the event here today. Um, I think there's some good catches here. I got both versions of the event exclusive Pikachu and unknown. Um, those are kind of like the three big ones. I just found out. I didn't realize that the regional Pokemon I was really hunting for are in the 10 kilometer eggs. So I have a couple of those all uh, in incubators. Hopefully those get uh, hatched and I get lucky with that. But we actually ran into another YouTuber that I really enjoy, huge inspiration for me and what I've been doing. 
So this was recorded uh, before right now, but take a look. Uh, I had some good conversation with him and I think you guys would like to see it. So we're gonna cut to that. Some of the Pokemon Go YouTubers were signed up for the meet and greets and some of them were just out playing the event. So it was kind of like chasing a shiny, you know, you found um, someone you looked up to to go meet, uh, which is really cool. Obviously here I'm meeting Zoe Two Dots. We weren't able to get a video with her, um, but it was really nice to meet her. On this one, we actually got Billy, the trainer club, to sign my Squirtle, which uh, Zoe Two Dots did as well. Um, we ended up collecting signatures on that guy. And actually out there in the wild, I ended up running into the cruise ship, which is really cool and unexpected, but this guy with his backpack got in the way of the video <laughs> oh geez uh, we did actually run into Brandon Tan as well uh, right around the same time that we ran into JT Valor so I was really excited to be able to meet these people and have a great conversation with them all right guys we are wrapping up the video I wanted to take a second to just tell you guys about the shinies I got and overall anything I could that was left out from what you guys saw in this video so far um, we are back, the trip is over, uh, and we did get some shinies. I'm super psyched about this, I had a great time. Uh, we're gonna do shiny and, let's see, shiny and age minus three? Is three right? Three is good. Okay, so we're back home, I had a great time. I just wanna follow up on the last bit and say, um, it was a great meeting everybody. Uh, the cruise ship. Trainer Club, JT Valor, Zoe Two Dots, um, they were all met amazing, and I have to give like a special props to um, the cruise ship and uh, JT Valor, because they were, I was nervous to ask them to talk and interact with them, and they actually like really were okay with having a conversation, they weren't just, yeah, yeah, you're great, whatever, um, they felt like normal people, and I just really appreciated that JT Valor even had like his experience meeting him was the most memorable part or most memorable person I met I think because he he sat there and talked to me about his YouTube journey a little bit and gave me some good advice and I, I just thought that was incredible <clears throat> but <laughs> I guess you guys don't care about that as much you don't get to see that part of the video because that part wasn't recorded but uh during this event um I didn't get 26 shinies, I got 24. And what's actually funny is I caught this shiny Metatite while I was in Vegas, but it was the day I didn't have the ticket. So it wasn't technically an event shiny. Um, we ended up starting the day with a shiny Shroomish early on. We got a shiny Beldum. I didn't get another shiny for quite some time, but I got the um, May Pikachu. Very exciting because the Pikachus for these events are very exclusive and usually don't return. Uh, I got a Trico. It was actually, ironically, buy a Trico inflatable, uh, which is really funny. Um, shiny Unknown. Very excited about this. Uh, it's actually not the one I wanted because I already have this one shiny, but still, just amazing. It's so hard to get Shiny Unknowns. Uh, I got a Shiny Ball Toy. I have since evolved it into a Clay Doll. Uh, we did end up getting that shiny Cacnea. Let's go look at this guy. I'm going to wait till I get a second one to evolve him. We got the, I think his name is Brandon, the Brandon Pikachu. So we completed the set, which is wild, absolutely insane. Uh, we got a shiny Whalmer. We already have one or two of them. Duskull, we have a couple. He had a calm day. Barboach. I was excited about this. This guy's had a spotlight hour. The shiny's been around for a while. He's evaded me. I did only get one, so I'm not able to evolve it, but man, I was just glad I, I got this. Uh, we got a shiny Feebas. Have more than just a few of those. We did get the sun cast form, which is really exciting. Uh, we got another clam pearl. You know, not necessarily the most sought after, because um, I do have like four of them now. We do have another Leap, which again, I have a couple of. This is my very first Anorith though. So I was excited that I ended up picking this up. Very cool hatch or shiny. Uh, we got a Mudkip since evolved into Marsh Stomp. 
We did get a Nummel. Now, this one's funny because I started the encounter and I ran from it. Because I was like, that's not shiny. That's just a Nummel. And then I saw the sparkles as I was pushing the button. And I, like, had to rush to click it again. It was so funny. Um, okay, we got Swablu. Not really important to me, you know? Have a com have a community day, and I'm not really going to do anything with it if it's not good IVs, because it's 400 to evolve. But still shiny. We got a Seviper, which I'm really excited about, because I only had one before, and my Twitch chat made me transfer it. <laughs> if you guys don't know, down there, go find me on Twitch. Uh, I've since removed this, but... People could use their channel points to make me transfer shinies. No longer. <laughs> uh, Chime Echo. Very cool. I was actually talking to Loveless um, at the event, telling him, oh, I thought I had one. I wish I had one. Ended up getting one. Absol. I was so stoked when I got this. This was nearing the end. I thought Chime Echo was going to be the last one. Actually, I thought Seviper was going to be the last one. It was around 530. Then I got Chime Echo. Shortly after I got Absol, very excited because I thought I didn't already have a shiny Absol. I did, but still, such a great shiny. Then we got Rainy Cast Form, which was amazing. We got two of the different shinies for Cast Form from this event. Um, and that was how we ended our day. So uh, I was a little bummed because there was some Pokemon I really wanted. I wanted to get some of the regionals. Uh, most notably, I really wanted Torkoal. I was bummed I didn't get him. But literally today, after the event, um, I was at work and we were doing a lot of walking. I hatched the last of my 10Ks and <laughs> the very last of that batch was a shiny Torkoal. I could not believe it. And then when I got home from work, shiny Magikarp. Let's freaking go. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much how the event went for me. I had a great time. Uh, please leave a like or comment, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll catch you with another one.